To explain the bonding in the diatomic molecules F2 and O2, it's safe to assume that the interactions between the S orbitals and the interactions between the P orbitals are completely independent. In oxygen, for example, the S orbitals interact to form a sigma G bonding orbital and a sigma U antibonding orbital, whereas the P orbitals interact to form sigma G and pi U bonding orbitals and sigma U and pi G antibonding orbitals. For most diatomic molecules, you can't make this assumption. As generally speaking, orbitals of the same symmetry interact together. For a diatomic molecule, this means that the sigma G orbital derived from the 2S orbitals interacts with the sigma G orbital derived from the 2PZ orbitals. The lower energy orbital is stabilized, pushed down in energy, whereas the higher energy orbital is destabilized, pushed up in energy. A similar thing happens with the sigma U orbitals. This process is known as SP mixing, and its effect is to stabilize the 2 sigma G and 2 sigma U orbitals and destabilize the 3 sigma G and 3 sigma U orbitals. For O2 and F2, you are able to ignore sp mixing, as it's relatively unimportant. The degree of sp mixing depends on the energy gap between the s and p orbitals, and the greater the energy gap, the smaller the interaction. Since the sp separation increases across a period, sp mixing is low for O2 and F2, as the atoms lie at the end of the second period. For N2, and the diatomic molecules formed by elements to the left of nitrogen, this is not the case. The sp separation is smaller, which means that the sp mixing is more significant. In building the molecular orbital energy level diagram for N2, the interactions to form the pi orbitals are similar to those seen in oxygen, since these interactions are not affected by sp mixing. The pi orbitals are the wrong symmetry to interact with the s base sigma orbitals. However, on adding in the sigma orbitals, you can see that the 3 sigma g orbital lies above the 1 pi u orbital in energy, in contrast to oxygen and fluorine. The most important effect of sp mixing is therefore to change the order of these, that these two orbitals are filled in. Putting the electrons in gives a complete molecular orbital energy level diagram for N2, in which the 3 sigma g orbital is the highest occupied molecular orbital.